Priya, you would know that I recently unboxed a huge box from NYX. So NYX is finally officially in India, full fledgedly. It was earlier available in Sephora as well, but that was just so bad. It was never in stock, and there was like no range, no variety of products. So yes, I recently unboxed that box and I have all of the makeup in this box now. I'll show you from the inside. This box is heavy because of the makeup products. I have so many new products and because you guys were so excited about NYX and I am too. Like I'd be lying straight forward if I said I'm not excited. It's just like NYX, what else? But yes, this is what the box looks like from the inside. It is huge, it has so many products and I'm so excited. So when I was unboxing the video, so when I was doing the unboxing video, you guys were so excited to see the swatches and stuff like that and I promised you guys I will be showing it to you in a video. So I thought I'd do a first impression, full face of first impression using just NYX products and telling you guys what I feel about each of these as I go. So yes, because full face of first impressions are generally quite long and tedious. I eagerly urge you guys to get a cup of coffee or a green tea or whatever you prefer or some, you know, granolas and oats. I'm just promoting healthy stuff. If you want to have a pizza, you do you boo. So yeah, just grab something to eat and let's go. Alright, so for my base, I'm going to start with the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. So this is supposed to be like a glowy illuminator base. I did swatch this on my hand during the unboxing, but I've never used this on my face. This is in the shade Sunbeam. So I'm going to use this as an illuminating primer all over my face today. So I'm just going to take a small amount, just this much. And then all I'm going to do is smear it on my fingers first and then just apply it on my face. I'm going for a dewy look today and that's why the highlighter as a primer although I am making sure I just stay on my t-zone area and I'm not going like under my eyes or on the eyelids that like I generally do with any primer so I'm just staying in my t-zone now this would instantly give me a lot of glow I love how natural this glow is you can use this on top of a foundation as well and it would look really nice and it has instantly mattified down it doesn't stay liquidy so that's a good thing because otherwise it will crease like this so yeah it has instantly mattified which is a good thing now for foundations I have a couple of options so I'll show you guys all of the options and then we can probably just you know choose what we want to use let me find my foundations all right so for foundations i have the nyx stay matte but not flat foundation then we have the nyx hydra touch dehydration the hydration powder foundation and then we have the nyx hd studio photogenic foundation all of these shades i feel are a little too dark for me but before moving on to the actual foundation part of it i'm gonna be doing a little bit of color correcting with the nyx conceal correct contour palette <laughs> I'm going to open it. I haven't still swatched this even. So yeah, I'm really excited to try this out. This was in my wish list as well. So I'm really happy that I got my hands on this. So let me open it up for you guys. And I'm going to be picking up a brush to do the task for me. But which brush? That's the question. So I have this Beauty Success Flat Foundation brush and I'm going to pick up the orange shade right here and I'm going to put this under my eyes because dark circles so I'm just going to start from the very inner corners and then just gently work this in as well as on the lid because I have this coloration everywhere so these colors are pretty sheer they're not extremely pigmented which is a good thing because if you have like extremely pigmented color correctors they tend to sometimes peek boo from beneath and that looks weird having orange on your eyelids and green on your face it's just a little weird so anyways I like to blend out my color correctors and this is already sheer so I don't have to work more which is a great thing so once I look like a total I don't know what I'm gonna move on to foundation I'm using the NYX HD studio photogenic foundation this is in the shade uh, warm sand or sable shot and this is what it looks like let me just first match it to my neck and see if this matches me or not I think we can probably work with this probably let's just put it all across my face dot 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 even if it's a little dark, we can probably balance it out later with good amount of highlighting. That's how I work. 
if I go a little dark with my foundation, I put on a lot of highlighter. If I go a little light with my foundation, I make sure I bronze up a lot. So that way I can like balance it out completely. So now I have dotted it all over my face and I'm going to pick up a brush to just sort of blend it out. I'm going to be using my trusted Real Techniques buffing brush. So I'm just going to start buffing this foundation in. It is extremely easy to buff in and it has a very nice finish. It looks extremely natural on the skin and it's not heavy. At least for now it doesn't feel heavy at all. Like not even this much. The coverage I would say is medium. It's not extremely high on the coverage. It's medium, definitely medium. So I'm going to go on my decolletage area as well just to make sure everything matches. I will be trying out the other foundations pretty soon as well so don't worry. But I really like the finish of the foundation. It sort of gives me a glow and because you already have that liquid illuminator underneath so it just adds up to the dewiness of the whole thing. So that is done. Next up let's move on to concealer. So for concealers I have the NYX HD concealer. This is what it looks like and this is in the shade 03. And this seems like a pretty good highlighting concealer for me. So I'm just going to take this. I'm going to pop it out and then put it right on the orbital bone. Like I like. On the other eye. I like my uh, highlighting concealer to be extremely brightening. If you don't like that fact, you can definitely just, you know, go for a lighter shade of concealer. Like a darker shade of concealer for your skin tone. But this is how I like my concealer to be. So, yeah, make your preferences. We respect everyone's, right? So, anyways, I've put that on and now I'm just going to blend it out with the help of... Wait, let me just find a brush. So, I'm going to use the Zoeva Face Shape Brush. And I'm just going to blend all of this into place. Extremely creamy concealer not thick it is just the perfect consistency gets blended out so easily you saw like i blended that out in real time in front of you guys and i have hair on my eyelids anyways i really like the fact that it's quite brightening as you can see it is very brightening and i'm all about that life and it doesn't look caked up as well it looks extremely natural i'm also going on my eyelids to act up as a primer so this is what my face looks like right now. I am very happy with the coverage, the consistency and you know just everything. So next up I'm going to be contouring a little with the same, 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 same palette again. And I'm going to be picking up I think a mix of this and this shade, these two. With the same brush with which I color corrected, I'm just going to like swipe it on my hands to get rid of any excess color. And, and I'm first going to go in with the lighter shade. I'm going to just carve out my cheekbones. These are so easy to blend in. As I said, they are sheer. So you don't need to you know, blend out a lot. But if you want a lot of pigmentation, these are not your best bet, to be very honest. These are extremely sheer. But I think that makes work a little easier. I'm just going to go back in with the foundation brush. I'm going to just slightly buff and blend out the edges. Extremely slightly, just to make everything quite seamless. And then I'm going to go in with the darkest shade extremely carefully just with the tip of my brush and then chisel out my face even more. And this I'm going to blend out with that same brush in just windshield wiper motions. Like the straighter windshield wiper. And then again just going in the foundation brush, swiping it across just to make sure everything is nice and blended and smooth. For my nose I'm going to use just the lightest shade and then just you know sort of draw lines across down my nose and use my fingers to blend it out so i have this nyx hd finishing powder this is in the shade mint now generally i think this is to define the redness in your face and indians generally don't tend to have that much redness 
so I'm not too sure how this will work on my skin but it's not extremely green the shade is mint green so I'm just gonna use a powder brush like so this is from makeup revolution I'm just gonna swirl this in there and I'm gonna just dust it on top of my face to set everything down and make sure we have like a nice set face which doesn't creases up so this definitely doesn't have a lot of color as you can see it is just setting very nicely and it makes your face look really airbrushed which is a nice thing we want that I really like the finish of this powder it just makes everything look so you know seamless I'm happy next up it's time to bronze up them face so I'm going to be using the NYX matte bronzer this is what it looks like I have to still open it up and this is in the shade medium and I'm going to be picking this up on a Zoeva this is the Luxia cheek which is like an angled brush and I'm still trying to just open it up it's open now finally and this is what the bronzer looks like oh I love that shade it's gonna look so natural on my skin so I'm just gonna pick up a little of it because I don't know how the pigmentation is and I'm gonna just slightly you know bronze up my face on the general spots that we tend to now this is quite pigmented so you want to pick up a little amount of that product I just literally touched my brush three times like touched one two three and had a lot of product on it so you want to be careful with this one because it's extremely pigmented I'm also going to touch my temples a little just a tiny bit just the temples I'm not going to like go completely because I have a small forehead which so is the temples and a little bit on the jawline to make sure my face is all you know evenly bronzed out now this instantly brings a lot of dimension to my face which we all are looking for no one likes a flat face so yes we are done with that next up for blush I have a couple of options I'm going to share with you only a couple <laughs> so yeah the first one I have is the ombre blush and the next thing that I have is the um, rose gold blush so that is what they look like so today I'm going to be using the rose gold blush because I have no clue what sort of look I want to go for and this is a quite natural blush so it will complement any look and saved it and even if we want to amp up the blush we can later on put this one on top as well so I'm just going to be taking this blush and I'm going to pick up a blush brush just going to take a little bit of the product swipe it across my cheeks this has a beautiful glow to it as well, like a very natural, subtle glow, which makes you look like you're blushing from within. And it has a very nice golden reflex. I'd say it's a more brownie Nars orgasm. Like, orgasm is corally, and this is like a brownie Nars orgasm, you can say. Next up, I am going to be doing my brows, and I have a lot of options for brows. So, let me share my brow options with you guys. So for brows, I have the NYX a push up brow for your eyebrows. Then I have the NYX brow contour and highlight. And lastly, I have the um, NYX eyebrow cake powder. So I feel like today I want to use the NYX sculpt and highlight brow contour because it just sounds very fancy, brow contour. So I'm just going to open it up. Although this is in the shade blonde ivory, so I'm not really sure if it will suit my eyebrows because as you can see my eyebrows are literally like black. So if it doesn't work, we'll move on to a push-up bra for eyebrows. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> so this is what the color looks like. I'm going to see and if it works for my eyebrows. Otherwise, as I said, I'll move on. So I'm just starting with short strokes, filling the gaps in. Pencil is quite hard and waxy. It's not creamy which is a good thing because eyebrow pencils I like them to be quite hard and waxy and not um, Creamy otherwise they clump on my hair, which is not a cute look So yeah, it's a good texture for an eyebrow pencil Although I do feel as I said earlier the color is a bit light for me not working So I'll move on to a push-up bra for eyebrows and I'm using this is the shade which shade is this and this is in the shade let me tell you guys which shade this is I don't know the shade EBPB01 alright and this is a much darker brown so I'm just gonna start filling in my eyebrows over again with this again this is quite waxy it's not creamy 
Although I do prefer the texture of the brow contour over this one, I'll be extremely honest with you guys. I still have a little bit of blonde left here, so it looks a little white. So I'm going to use the other side and then just highlight under my brows. Now this is creamy. This is extremely creamy. So you don't want to like go with a lot of pressure on this. And then I'm just going to use my ring finger or any clean finger and just blend it out. And because it's so creamy, it blends like a dream as well. Like real time, you can see me blending it in and it's already blended in like this. So overall, this is what my face makeup looks like. Overall, I'm quite happy with all the products till now. I do think I need a little bit of a highlighter because I am a highlighter addict like that. So I'm going to be using the Hydro Touch, uh, the Hydration Brightener. This is a pencil highlighter. So I'm going to be using this and it's in the shade Radiance. This is a very natural highlighter and it sets into a matte, um, you know, consistency as soon as you like blend it out. So make sure you work in sections, you don't want to like just apply it first and then blend it out, it will set and you won't be able to like budge it, smudge it or whatever you prefer to do with it. So yes, it will give you a very nice sort of uplifted look. Moving on to eyes, I'm going to use the product that actually made NYX quite famous. It was the Jumbo Pencils and that too Milk. Everyone used to use Milk as their eyeshadow base back in the time when, you know, NYX was getting popular. And I have Milk personally as well. But I'm going to be using today Cottage Cheese, which is another beautiful shade from the Jumbo Pencil line. And I'm going to be just unwrapping it first. And this is like a silvery white shade. So I'm just going to be putting it across my lids as my eyeshadow base and I already know that these are wonderful as eyeshadow bases so you can totally buy these on my recommendation and then I'm just going to blend it out plus the fact that you can actually use it in so many other ways like you can use it as an eyeliner, as a highlighter if you buy the correct shade that is and you know just as an eyeshadow like that as well and I'm going to apply it on the other eye as well obviously I'm just going to add this on top of my cheeks as a little bit of an extra highlight as well. Just a tiny amount. This is so gorgeous. Like the illuminator, the highlighter, that I, pencil highlighter that I use, it doesn't have a lot of shimmers in it. So this just adds that to my face. So my eye base is done. Now I have some eyeshadow options for you all. I'm going to share them with you in a minute so i have the nyx dream catcher palette which is a beautiful neutral shade then i have the nyx the go to la palette indispensable which looks like this it also has like a highlighter a blush and a contour inside it and some eyeshadows there and then i have these two eyeshadows one is gold and one is a uh, tin sort of a shade so today i'm going to be working with the um dream catcher palette because i'm really excited about it it looks so beautiful like ooh, very beautiful so yes because all of the shades that i have are quite neutral we're going to be working in the neutral family as well so i'm going to start off by picking up i want to say um, this shade this one right here now these are quite pigmented and buttery soft i swatched them on my hands and that's why I know that these are buttery soft and extremely pigmented. So I've picked up a little bit of that on my brush and I'm just going to put it across my lids. You see how pigmented these are? Beautiful. Once these are on my lid, I'm going to pick up this white shade right here. It has like a beautiful golden reflex. I'm going to pick it up with a small brush and I'm just going to place it in the inner corners just to brighten my inner corners up. I'm also going to place it right under my brow bone, the highest point, just this area, little bit area, just to give a little bit of extra height to my brows. Next up, I'm going to pick up this beautiful plum shade, which almost might look like a black to you guys, but it's like a glitterful plum. I'm going to pick that up on a blender brush and I'm going to go directly in my crease area. These are extremely pigmented. You want to be careful when you pick them up. I picked up a little too much and I can do both of my eyes with this now. So just blend it out really nicely. Once that is done, I'm going to move on to this NYX Gold Lust Eyeshadow. This is their Hot Singles Eyeshadow. I'm going to open this up 
it seems like a pretty beautiful golden i'm going to pick this with my fingers because i want maximum intensity on my fingers and then i'm going to place it on the centers of my lids to just make my eyes more three dimensional these are not extremely pigmented i'll be honest and not extremely buttery soft as well like the dream catcher palette is a dream they're so soft and so pigmented so maybe that's why i feel this is not as soft or as pigmented you know you know how it goes once you're like on top coming down so i'm going to go back in with my dream catcher palette i'm going to pick up this matte black shade with a pointed crease brush i'm going to pick a little product very little i'm going to go just in my crease to define it up a bit more and once you're done with placing the color just use another blender brush and then just blend this out so for my eyeliner i have a couple of options first i have the super skinny marker by nyx then we have the nyx vivid bright which is like an orange color and then we have some pencil liners but today i'm going to be using the super skinny marker because i don't think orange is going to go pretty well with this look so we're going to keep that for some other day so the super skinny marker is in the shade carbon black and that's how i like my I like it to be and this is what the nib looks like it seems quite promising i'm just going to try and make a nice liner line liner it is quite matte black and it dries really quickly and dries matte i'm going to extend it out in a wing this gives you a lot of precision like you can see right here it's a beautiful liner so i'm just going to do the same on the other eye just mapping out my wing first I feel like my lower lash line feels really empty so I'm going to go back in with my dream catcher palette and I'm going to pick up that plum shade again with a help of a smaller brush this time I'm going to place it on my lower lash line just the outer half of it and then I'm going to use the next doll eye mascara this is the extreme jet black version I've heard great things about this mascara. This has been raved outside a lot of times, so hopefully it works for my lashes as well. This is what the wand looks like. It's like a curvy wand, so you have a curve there. So I'm just gonna apply this on my lashes like I would normally do. You can look at the difference in my lashes for yourself. My lashes look so good. So for my lips I have a lot of options like the soft matte lip creams, the lip butter glosses, then uh, you know the matte lipsticks, the butter lipsticks, but I wanted to use something that I've never tried because I have tried a lot of other NYX lip products. So I am going to be trying out the NYX liquid suede cream lipstick. I'm really excited about this because again there's something that people have been raving about and I wanted to get my hands on this like since forever and i finally have one so yes this is in the shade amethyst which is like a purple shade so it's a good thing because we've done neutral eyes and i think a uh, purple lip is extremely beautiful so yes i'm going to be trying this out for the first time fingers crossed i want to like it please god so oh this looks like the shwara rai bachan can look you know like the lipstick this a little bit lighter would have been like the perfect color The consistency is really good though. I really like the consistency and I honestly cannot wait to try out more colors from this range. I cannot. Oh, I really like this lip because I'm all about the dramatic lip look life. I am going to be just experimenting with it a bit more because I have so many more lip stuff that which I haven't still used. So, yes, I'm just going to be topping it up with another color. This one. This is the NYX Simply Wamp lip cream. This is also a purple shade. So, yeah, we can just like simply just top it up. This is a little darker than the NYX suede cream. So, I'm just sort of making a custom shade, a custom purple. This is extremely pigmented. I have swatched this on my hand and it was extremely pigmented. and it says like it's a cream lipstick but it's in like a bullet form so like pencil form so i'm not really sure how that equation works out but even this color looks so good like i am all about that dark purple life i love how this looks and i'm going to stop it at that so yes hopefully you enjoyed my full face of first impressions as well as like a one brand tutorial using just next to dark 
and I am really happy with the products. They look so fabulous and they look extremely promising as well. I can't wait to try out the products that I still haven't tried out because I'm excited. But it just looks so good. I'm so very happy and I'm very happy. I become extremely happy when my full face or first impression goes really well and this is one of those days. So yes, hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well and if you did then don't forget to comment and subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. Also don't forget to check out all of my social media which will be listed in the bottom bar as usual for you guys. And I will see you guys next time, till then take care, bye.